then I would have believed entirely that they were higher beings, a higher spiritual order of beings. I wouldn't have believed in demons. I didn't think they existed. I thought they were an invention of the Christian church. In retrospect now, I can see back with horrible clarity that they were malevolent, created, demonic spirits intent on our destruction. Some of these entities out here will say, oh yeah, they're bad spirits uh, and they're good spirits. In fact, um, uh, the old mediums uh, before the channelers came along, it was a little more complicated. And the mediums would have a control. It was called a control spirit. And the control function, the function of the control spirit was to keep the bad spirits away uh, and to kind of line things up, you know, and make it work out uh, as it should. And they would even say, oh, that was a lower entity. In my own case, I recall that some of the entities we had to deal with were overtly violent, almost psychotic. And the others were pure and altruistic, and all they wanted to do was help us, and they would warn us about things that the nasty entities were doing, and they would give us teaching and methods of developing ourselves and so on. In retrospect, I'd like to say that all the entities were equally evil. It was the clever way it was presented by showing this group as overtly evil that made us more ready to accept these guys as the good guys. In reality, they were all in it together. In evaluating the situation, the reason they appeared to be good or evil was to create a contrast and also to create uh, further deception. You know, it was obviously that the whole thing was, it was, an, it was an incredible deception, but uh, it would have had no credibility if it was obvious as a deception. Obviously what spirits do is warp people's perception of what reality is about. And I think one of the difficult things is that you are really dealing with people who are being duped is the best word I could say. And in that handing over of themselves to this power, in that handing over, they're going to see that as good stuff and not see that they are moving towards some very destructive things for themselves and for others. Biblical writers of both Old and New Testament have much to say about the continuous attempt by Satan and evil spirits or demons to deceive the human race. Moses wrote of Satan's enticement and deception of Eve in the Garden of Eden, You will not surely die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God. Ramtha, channeled by Jay-Z Knight, has stated, What is termed God is within your being, and that which is called Christ is within your being. And when you know you are God, you will find joy. Helen Shookman, who claims to channel Jesus, states in her work entitled A Course in Miracles, God's name is holy, but no holier than yours. To call upon his name is but to call upon your own. You are the holy son of God himself. Helen Shookman, who was a psychologist at Columbia University and kept hearing this voice that said, this is a course in miracles, take it down. This is a course in miracles, take it down. She didn't want to take it down. She was an atheist. She didn't believe in this other dimension. And she consulted her fellow psychologists, and they said, well, go ahead. And so she took it down, 1,100 pages, uh, a course in miracles, which claimed to come from Jesus, but which, in fact, undermined everything Jesus said. <laughs> it's the age-old battle between good and evil. The, the Bible will tell you that the, the devil will, will come in many forms. And in a sense, these beings are uh, 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 an aspect of that side of nature, the dark side. And uh, therefore, they don't like mention of Christ. They, they, will, they, will, uh, they won't come out usually and say Christ is bad. They will subtly put Christ down. He, they will say that Christ wasn't really a truly historic figure, that his deeds have been magnified over the years. All people who are channeling entities, whatever they say they are, Jesus Christ, Buddha, your Aunt Vera, whoever, they're not these pure, altruistic, beautiful beings that they seem to be. If you strip away the covering, you'll find a demon behind every one of these voices, behind every one of the spirits. In fact, one of their most clever ploys is to appear, as the Bible says, even Satan disguises as an angel of light. We're seeing these emissaries of evil that are dressing in the most wonderful packaging, so people are accepting them as genuine. People are seeing them as good and pure, and in reality, even the good ones are demon spirits. Very clever and subtle manipulation. 
St. Paul wrote, Some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Proponents of channeling claim the identity of the spirits is unimportant. Information is all that matters. Truth is subjective. If it sounds right, accept it. Biblical writers warned that these unseen entities are in fact evil spirits, and the people who succumb to their teachings are ultimately deceived. Who are the voices behind this phenomenon? Who goes there?